what's going on guys welcome back to another video of city skylines 2 the big question for you guys today is are your post offices working 36,000 a month is what they're processing mail rates 131,000 can't keep up with it but we have one post office here only sending out oh look at that zero vehicles we have another post office over in this vicinity how many vehicles is it sending out? Four. Well, that's not going to work. How many over here? One. Well, that's not going to work. We have all these post offices. This one has 11 out. So this one's slightly working. We have all these post offices, but yet none of them are collecting at full capacity. None of them are collecting fast enough. And this is the issue that we're having. The next question for you if you're having this issue and you're seeing that this is going on is do you have a cargo train terminal? If so, there's two ways that we can go about this and we're going to see if they work for you. Take this thing, shut it down, save your game, to add, oh, we're going to save it back to Ash Flat, we're going to hit yes. We're going to load the game back in the Ash Flat. This is going to reload your game. We're going to see if this is going to fix it for you. Once we're back in, this is going to be shut off. We're going to fast forward and we're going to see, does this switch the post office? Some people have great success with this option. Some people don't have good success with this option. Also, down here, if you guys are seeing this, medium density with the office demand and stuff like that, we do have a lot of low density. If you're having issues with your low density, don't forget to check out the other video. I'm going to put it right up in the corner right now. We have a video where we go through and we take care of the issue where there's a ton of low density coming in, but you can't get medium or high density. We worked on that. We had good things go through. We get a lot of medium density and we have high density fill in on the city. So if you're looking to build a downtown area and stuff and you need help with that, don't forget to go ahead and check out that video. But we're looking to see if our post offices are working right now. No, they're still not. So do we need to turn off the rail yard? Let's see if we turn off the rail yard what happens here. So we're going to go ahead and have that. We're going to go through, we're going to save the game to Ash Flat, and we're going to open the game back up, load game. It's going to reset the city and see where we're at here. So, make it $75,000 an hour, nice. So, we got this here. So this is slightly higher than it was last time. Is it going to continue to climb? We want to go ahead and fast forward this. See if it sends out more trucks. If it sends out more trucks, we'll start collecting more. So, let's see, let's see, let's see. You got one out, you got two out right now. We're going to go through more. Okay, so this might not be the option that works for my city. So yeah, we're staying right around there. So if that didn't work, Make sure you create a second save file game. So we're going to do Ash Flat 2. And we're going to save that. That's going to be a different save game there. Going to resume this. Here's the bad port that we have. We're going to delete this. And we're going to delete this. Yes, I understand that you guys have issues here. We're going to delete this stuff because we don't want it right now. We then want to go ahead and save this into Ash Flat 2. Then we're going to load the game of Ash Flat 2 and see if this fixes it. You want to go through your routes. That way you aren't deleting a building if you don't want to if you don't have to delete the building. And we don't want to delete it and then pay to get it back, so that's why we created a second save file. So we're going to go ahead and go here and we're going to see if this fixes the amount of vehicles that are out and about. Let's go ahead and take a look. So it's going to slightly go up here. 
What we may have to do is we might have to exit completely out of the game now. So, um, let me go ahead and pause the video here. We're going to restart the game because this is only kicking and it's going very slow. So, let me go ahead and just exit the game and I'll be right back, guys. Okay guys, we're back at the main menu. I completely restarted the game. We're going to load the game as flat two, so that's eleven twenty there. That's when I saved it. Going to pop back into this and see if this fixed it. But right here, we're going to see if the posting facilities are going to work now. So we're gonna give it some time and we're just going to sit back and see if it works. Okay guys, so we're starting to see a little bit of an increase here where it's at 71,000 per month. So we're just going to sit back and let this go a little bit longer. Might be a thing that we need to go ahead and just watch. 102,000 now, so that jumped up pretty quick there. So we might jump way into the green and might be able to get rid of one of these post offices or so because... I have about 3,000 or 4,000 processing capability, and I only need 200,000. So, I thought I was just having issues here. So, I'll let it go and see. So, I'll be right back, and I'll let you guys know what the final result is. All right, guys. So, we're up to 173,000. So, that method 100% works. You won't have any issues with that method. So what it is is that you have to go ahead and this method is deleting both of these. The other method that I want to go through because I hate that we have to go ahead and delete both of those is we're not going to delete both of them. We're going to just shut off the cardio terminal and then we're going to restart the game. So we're going to go ahead and save this file just because I want to make sure I have it. So we're going to save it. All that stuff is starting to work. We have 172,000. We're going to load into the other ash flat that still has this stuff over here. So we're going to load into it. This is the other save that we created early. Um, so once you created this earlier, you had these both shut off. You can turn this on. You can keep this off. This will still import stuff if it's off. It won't ship out, however. So since this is turned off, and we already restarted the game. We're going to go ahead and into the mill center. And we're going to see if this increases. So I'm going to sit here and watch this. And I'll be back in a second. Okay guys. Well slightly in the middle of this. I'm having an issue here. Where my skyscrapers are falling down. So that's that's not good. Make sure you have enough um, fire brigades and stuff. I might have to go ahead and get the fire station put down. So that's great. We lost... Lost some buildings there. Lost some buildings there. But um, just sitting here watching it and stuff really hasn't made pretty much any movement. Um, but I'm going to give it a few more seconds just to see because I did have it in slow mode there for a second. So I sped it up. So I'm going to see if more trucks went out and if this starts collecting more. No, it's going down. So the next option that we do have, just deleting this. So if we just delete this, I have a, enough money to go ahead and work with it if need be. We'll delete that. We'll go ahead and save this game into Ash Flat 3. And we'll exit the game and I'll be right back. Okay guys, so we're loading back into the game now. I just want to make sure that you guys know that I picked the same game. So, Ash Flat 3, going to load into it. Once we load into it, we're then going to go ahead and see if the post offices start sending out more and more and more trucks. So, is it just getting rid of the cargo terminal, or is it getting rid of the cargo terminal and the train terminal? So we'll have those two options and stuff to go through. We know the third option didn't work. So we have this stuff here. We're going to pop it to the third degree there. We got 35913. And we're sort of going to watch the map and see if more 
trucks start flowing out. So I'm gonna take a look at this, I'm gonna sit here for a second, see what happens, and I'll be right back. So I've been sitting here watching this for a few minutes. Here's what's happening now. All the mail trucks are leaving at one time. So we have all the mail trucks leaving there at one time. We have all the mail trucks leaving over here at one time, and it's starting to shoot up. We have all the mail trucks leaving here. What about over here? Do you... Come on. Do something. So we have all the mail trucks leaving and stuff. So this might be a good option as well. So might just have to get rid of this. So I only waited two minutes for this to start going and uh, processing through like that. We're going to see if it jumps higher than the 43,000 though. We do want it to get above the 133. That's our goal to make sure that our mail rate is met. If we can't meet the mail rate, then there's an issue there. And we don't want to have to deal with that. So once we meet the mail rate, we'll go ahead and confirm that this method works. So I'll talk to you guys in a second. Okay, guys. So the mail availability, the processing is over the 136. Well, the 133. So our next goal here is to see... Do you have too many? So the processing capabilities of this here, you gotta look and see. Um, how much do one of these process? Storage capacity, 100,000. So you have 100,000 there, and you have 100,000 there. You shouldn't need any more than the two, so we'll shut off the third one. Just keep it alive for the 4,500. And we'll grab the other one as well, which we could shut off this one. But there is also another one that is somewhere up in here. One, 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 one. So we might shut off this one as well. So that one has 26 collecting. That one has 21, and this one has 14. So 100,000, 100,000, 125, 125. So we'll just take this and shut this off as well. So if we shut both those off, then we gotta see if we're still having the same processing power. Oh! Huge city just unlocked. So, let's see if this does anything to our processing capability. We have a ton of these trucks out. Um, we'll just see if it, if it works or not. So, after shutting those off, it actually went up even more. So, working 100%, able to go ahead and take care of that. And we have our post offices working now, so people aren't going to be complaining about it. Um, we have issues with ambulances and hearses and stuff like that. That stuff all the time. All the time. But we have got the post offices working now. We were able to shut two of them down. Saving some money. Making $75,000 an hour. Like I said, if you guys want to see how to do the 70, 75 um, beforehand when we had everything going. Oh my god, more stuff is on fire. What is going on? Um, whenever we had all that stuff going on, we did have, um, $50,000 an hour or so. So if you guys want to see how to do that, follow along with the Build With Me series. If you guys want to see how to get more high demand for medium density and high density residential, follow along in my other video that I have. I'll link those both up in the corner and everything. Just follow suit. So we got everything working. Um, I'm probably going to resume with the other save file because this save file is going to hell and back with all of all of the issues with buildings burning down and stuff. So I'll go to the other save file and we'll work from there. So I appreciate your time. Hopefully the, you guys can go ahead and get all your post offices back up and running. If so, don't forget to leave a comment. If you find another route to go ahead and go with this, make sure to go ahead and leave a comment down um, below. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're new. I hope to see you guys in another video. Thank you guys for watching. And I've been chasing the finish. I'm out. Peace.